Hello everyone and welcome back to Iron Home, a solo actual play where I, Sophia, play Iron Sworn in a variety of different settings. Uh, it's been a while, well I was on holidays for two weeks and then I got sick for one week and well finally uh, we're back. The There's a new idea, the idea is that I will run uh, different one shots. Uh, this is a kind of a like new format. We'll be, uh, I'll be playing different one shots in different settings. I will be getting back to the Warhammer. Don't worry about that. But for now, I want to. Get through. Uh, I want to build up. A variety of videos of playing in different settings like I promised I promised it would be lots of different settings and we've only got two so far one of which is the actual setting that comes with Iron Sword um, <clears throat> so that's the first thing uh, we will be we'll be using Star Forged rules now thanks to Ben and company's uh, uh, work uh, in the foundry module we now have access to all the Star Forge stuff so we'll just be updating that because I know I was already complaining in a few videos about saying, oh, well, in Starforge they do it like this and in Starforge they do it like that. So we're just going to go ahead and switch to that. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, that is it. So today we will be playing a game of Hollow Knight. Um, basically, we are going to be playing Kataka. She is a snail shaman. She carries a staff with a skull, a bone necklace, and has a snail shell head. That is our character. So, let's get right to it. And, oh no, my character's gone. There we go. So, our scene begins. Da, 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 da. Where was it? There we go. Our scene begins here in the Ancestral Mount. Kataka has been taking care of her mother, snail shaman that has been infected with the infection that is tearing through Hallow Nest. Time-wise, this, uh... Such this, this game will take place years, unknown amount of years, before the actual game of Hollow Knight takes place. Kataka is sitting down next to her mother, whose eyes are taking an orange tinge to them as she's blabbering incoherences in her sleep. Uh, Kataka lies next sits next to her taking care of her every day trying to find a cure for this infection but to no avail when one day her mother suddenly opens her eyes completely the orangeness gone and is very lucidly and grabs kataka's arm and she says kataka there is not much time you must take me the overgrown mound in the Queen's Gardens. I must... I must go die there. <laughs> Kataka is obviously overcome. She, she, Mother, what do you mean? What is happening? Uh, what is... There, uh, there is no much time, Kataka. Please. You must do this for me. Take me to the overgrown mound. And then leave, child. Leave Hallow Nest forever. And Kataka's like, but mother, there, there must be something else we can do. What about uncle? He he has locked himself up in the in the higher levels. He will not speak to me. He will not. I told your uncle to do that. We must all play our part. Please promise me you will do this. Last thing for me, child. Of course, mother. I will 
and before she can finish, the mother is already her eyes glazing over, the orange tinge coming back. She begins mumbling again. Kataka lets out a sob as this situation just simply overwhelms her. And we are going to swear an iron vow. Although in this case, it's... There's no iron involved, but we shall swear it nonetheless. So, roll heart. If you swear this vow to connection, definitely connection, add plus one. If you share a bond, add plus two. I think we probably share a bond uh, with our mother. For the sakes of this game, I'm going to say we definitely share a bond. So this is going to be a roll of heart, plus two. Here we go, here we go, here we go. First roll of the game. And that is a weak hit. Barely a weak hit. On a weak hit, you are determined, but begin your quest with more questions than answers. Take plus one momentum and envision what you do to find a path forward. So first, we don't know the path, the exact path to the to the overgrown mound in the Queen's Gardens. It has been very long since we visited there. Perhaps we were a child last time we were there. So, and first, we need to find a way to, to carry our mother over there. So, we are going to need a stretcher, some way of, of carrying her all the way there. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. The first thing we're gonna do is go and find a stretcher for our mother. So let's go ahead and change the music. Let's put to this one. Excellent. So Kataka goes and gathers some things and she heads on down to the lower levels where Corpses of bugs have piled up, and she's hoping to collect some shells, some legs and body parts, old, old, dried up husks, and build a stretcher out of that. There's not many plants in this part of the uh, hollow nest, so she can't do it any other way. And as she heads on down to the to these places, you know, where these bodies have gathered. Uh, somewhere around here, let's say. Uh, it's it's this kind of like open area, lots of dead husks dried up lying around. And she hears a, a sound in the distance. And then she sees this large creature some kind of long legged, many legged crawler going through a scavenger, perhaps. Not a not a sentient bug, but just a large creature. Let's go ahead and put some suspense music. Oh, that one's too dark. Let's just put this one. That one's even darker, but okay, I like it. So this creature is crawling about there. And we have three assets, Snail Shaman, uh, which is a rewrite of the Firebrand asset. Instead of fire, we wield soul energy, healer and naturalist. And we're gonna do this. We're gonna secure an advantage using your knowledge of life forms or ecosystems at plus one and take plus one momentum on a hit. So what we're going to do is Kataka is going to, from the distance, she's observing this creature, try to secure an advantage to see how we can deal with this large bug. So we are going to secure an advantage. We're going to do it with wits and we're going to add plus one. So that is a plus one bonus. Bam. Nice. That is a strong hit. On a strong hit, take both. Take plus two momentum, plus one for our asset. So that brings up to six and add plus one on your next move. So let's think, let's see what we learn about the creature. We want to learn an encountered behavior. Yes. 
So it is a tracker. Interesting. And the revealed aspect is alternative movement. Ooh. Interesting. I think this creature can burrow. Most likely it can go inside the ground and, and move around the bodies and everything. And it is a tracker. So I believe this creature hunts things that scavenge through the dead bodies. It is not itself a scavenger, but it burrows in and and does that. So we are going to face danger with Shadow too, as this creature suddenly goes, gets in the ground and disappears. But Kataka knows it is still there. She she knows this is a hunter. It's an ambusher. She has to be very careful while gathering these parts. So she's going to face danger with Shadow with a plus one from our previous move to try to gather supplies. And oh, nice. A weak hit. All right. You succeed, but not without cost. Make a suffer move minus one. So what I believe is going to happen is the following. Uh, and let's go ahead and change the music because uh, this one, let's go with this one. So basically she's going down and she's gathering these insect shells and tying them up and everything. When all of a sudden uh, she can see the ground moving. The creature has found her and is going straight for her. She quickly jumps aside, hides behind the rock, and it bursts out. And you can see it's giant mandibles going and it's looking around and it does this thing where it's just the shadow covering Kataka as she is just lying against this rock and the creature is right above her does not see her and then burrows away and we are going to suffer one spirit for that as Kataka is just <sighs> breathing a sigh of relief. She gathers the materials she has collected and goes back up to her mother to make a stretcher. I love those kind of scenes. Uh... So we return back to the ancestral mound, our mother still lying there, infected. And we will now secure an advantage because we are going to make preparations for this stretcher and we're going to use wits and we have nothing that can help us. So it's going to be a straight wits roll. And that is a weak hit. So on a weak hit, we can choose one. Take plus two momentum or add plus one to your next move. I'm just going to say take the momentum. We, uh, we build this stretcher. We, uh, we place our mother on top of it. And our mother is a very large snail shaman. She is huge. So Kataka will have to use uh, all of her strength to, to carry her. And she will begin the journey. And I've made a few notes here because uh, while preparing for this game, I thought of all these things and I said, okay, I'm going to write them down. I'm not going to stick to them 100% so it's not planned but uh, there are some ideas that I that I came up here see we've got the this is the quest oh yeah we've marked progress on our quest because we obtained materials for a stretcher and we crafted it iron sword sometimes suggests to make to build a what it would be a quest outline so to speak and this is basically it and then we have Journey to the Overgrown Mound. And I've got some few po uh, points I've thought of here, but we'll see how it goes. So we are now going to, with our mother in tow, we are going to explore. We're going to undertake an expedition. And we are going to move, staying vigilant. So we are going to roll. We have no assets that will help us in this case. Oh, wait, before we do that, we are going to rest and meditate to gather this energy. Should have done that before, but we'll do it now. So basically, we're going to roll plus four to gather soul energy. And... 
How do I do that? <laughs> How do I roll a plus four? Do I press here? There we go. Ben, this is amazing. I love you. Okay, let's go. Spore. That's a... Yes! A strong hit! So we gather up three soul as uh, Kataka just sits down, crosses her legs, and gathers the energy of the surrounding place to, to fill up her soul. And now, we, can, we go into our expedition. We will be journeying through the forgotten crossroads, into the green path, under the fog canyon, and into the queen's gardens. That is our journey. It is a very long one, and it will take us several days, most likely. So, let us stay vigilant, and let us begin our journey. Ooh, a weak hit! All right, and a weak hit as above, but this progress costs you. Choose one. We are obviously going to face a peril at a waypoint, envision what you encounter, and mark progress. So, we are going to mark progress. How did I mark progress? Is it with this one? Yes. There we go. Excellent. And now, we need some... This one. This one's perfect. So, we are carrying our mother, when all of a sudden, out of a corner of a tunnel, we see uh, a bug walking, infected eyes, mumbling to itself, eyes bright orange, it turns to look at us, and it slowly begins to, to make its way to us, zombified, mumbling. Uh, it seems to want to attack us, but it is still very, very slow moving, and Kataka remembers what when her mother told her that some bugs are able to break out of the infection uh, others not so much and Kataka is going to try to help this bug it doesn't seem completely gone yet and this is going to be a face danger as Kataka puts down her mother, grabs her staff, but puts it aside and says, Please, this 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 isn't who you are. You you, you have a family. You have a home to return to. Please try to remember who you are. I, I can help you if you let me. And this is going to be with heart. Here we go. Plus two. That's a uh, weak hit. Excellent. So on a weak hit, you succeed, but not without a cost. Make a suffer move. So I'm going to say that Kataka is insistent, insistent, the bug continues to get closer. Uh, Kataka puts her, her her staff up. The the bug begins to say something that makes sense. So 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 Kataka continues. Please remember the bug jumps on top of her, knocking her down. Pa! She falls on her back. She has her staff in between. Remember, she says. Remember. And 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 the bug suddenly kind of like. Uh, who? Who am I? Where... Where am I? And I'm gonna mark this as taking one harm from the, the push and the fall. Kataka... Turns around, gets up, and says... You are... Infected, do you... Remember anything? Where you're from? Where you are? The bug says, I'm... I'm from Dirtmouth. I, I came down here for something. I can't. I 
can't remember. Kataka is going to look at this bug and she's going to try to make him a, a sort of poultice that might make him feel better, uh, somehow recover any any damage that, <clears throat> that he's taken. Perhaps he, has been, he hasn't eaten in several days, just wandering around there. So it's going to be a heal move. We add a plus one. Uh, oh, take plus one spirit or one momentum on a hit if you're healing. Ah, oh, it's perfect. Okay, so we are going to roll wits with a plus one as we take out some of our supplies and prepare a a quick poultice to feed this bug. Nice! Weak hit. All right. So on a weak hit as above, but the recovery costs extra time or resources. I'm going to sacrifice resources because we don't have much time. Um, our mother asked us to hurry, I believe. And... Da -da 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 -da, on a hit, I can recover my spirit. As uh, Kataka is happy to see the bug recovering, regaining uh, his strength. Uh, the bug is, is very grateful to Kataka. Says that... Thing. Thank you for all your help. I will, I will make my way back up to Dirtmouth. Uh, wh where are you headed? Kataka says. I am headed to the Queen's Gardens, but I believe our path goes together for for a little bit, and I can accompany you. Uh, for a while, and. They do that. They, they they journey together through the the first part of the Forgotten Crossroads. Uh, the bug slowly begins to to regain his memory, and he, he tells Kataka things of his home. Eventually, he says he came down looking for for his son who had gone in search of something and then never came back and so then he went down and then at some point he just forgot everything uh, a sensation of of calm overtook him and he just let go and embraced it and he remembers nothing more All right. So let's go back to our journey. We continue with our exploration. We are going to roll again with wits. Uh, no bonuses. Oh, that is a miss with a match and there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, <laughs> On a miss, you are waylaid by a crisis or arrive at a waypoint to confront an immediate hardship or threat. Do not mark progress and pay the price. Alright, let's see. What is the price we pay? You create an opportunity for an enemy. You create an opportunity for an enemy. So it's a miss with a match. I think I know exactly what's going to happen. As, uh... As we are walking together, when suddenly, uh, we, we, we hear a, a strange sound and we turn to see the bug's eyes completely gone orange uh orange liquid coming out of the mouth we can hear the body crunching as it's morphing and, and, and shaping orange bulges appearing and popping and kataka is like no stop resist it and the bug simply and he charges at us we are completely caught by surprise and this is going to be a combat. Uh, so let's go ahead and put some combat music. Why not? 
Uh, so battle. As the creature jumps onto us. Uh, enter the fray! We have to create a progress track. Let's make it a dangerous foe. There we go. Uh, infected bug. Caught in a trap or seizing the situation. Wits roll. That's convenient. Six, and that's a six. That's a strong hit. On a strong hit, we take plus two momentum, and we are in control. So, what we're gonna do is the creature jumps on to us, and Kataka is very much uncontrolled. Before it can be on top of us, she decides it's it's too late. This creature is past help, and she waits just enough for it to be near, and then she just blasts it with a wave of soul. So we are going to uh, attack. We're going to strike. We're going to suffer one soul and add plus two to our strike. So we're going to roll iron plus two. Oh no, I pressed the wrong key. Ignore that. Iron plus two. And oh, that's not good. That is a weak hit. That's fine. On a weak hit, mark progress twice. But you exposed yourself to danger. You are in a bad spot. And, no, that's a miss. You are in a bad spot. Okay, so we blast this bug with our soul. And it falls back. And it's, uh, it's slowly getting up. But when we blasted it, all these bubbles of infection just blah, 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 landed everywhere. And we can see these tiny little blobs of infection just growing out like little tendrils and slowly coming towards us surrounding us kataka is ta ta hitting them with her with her stick to get them away and so we're going to do that we are going to clash with iron to just kind of like ta ta get, get off me you know one of them is crawling up her leg so here we go we are going to clash with iron and that is a strong hit. Excellent. On a strong hit, mark progress twice. You overwhelm your foe and are in control. One, two, and I think that is enough to try to finish this. So let's see how that goes. We need seven or less. Let's make that progress roll. Oof, a weak hit. All right, that was close though. <laughs> Take decisive action. When you seize an objective in a fight, envision how you take decisive action, then roll the challenge dice and compare to your progress. On a weak hit, you achieve the objective, but not without cost. Roll on the table below or choose one. Let's roll on the table below. Twenty-two. It's worse than you thought. Make a suffer move. Okay, so what I'm going to think is the following happens. She, uh... She knocks aside these infected blobs that are everywhere. And then, as the bug is, is slowly getting up, she grabs the staff and bashes it in. And bashes it in, and you can hear the crunching sound of shell. And, 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 and Kataka, you can see tears in her eyes as she's... Ah! Ah! Killing this creature because she is left without any other choice. And when she looks around, she sees that... The infections, the little creatures that jumped onto her have left her scarred or or, or, or burned in, in, in some kind of sense. Uh, that's uh, this one. There we go. So she takes two more harm. She stands there. There's exploded infection bubbles everywhere uh the bug is dead kataka has to clean her her staff and she just falls onto a corner sliding down sighing most of her life she has lived in isolation and the ancestral mound training to be a snail shaman she she has known of this but Never experienced such things firsthand. <laughs> mm. 
and she will try to heal her own wounds now uh, before continuing on in her travels. And this is going to be a recover move. It's going to be lowest of iron and wits, but we do get plus one when you... So that's going to be a plus two in total. No, plus three. That's six, and that is a weak hit. So on a weak hit, we are going to take two momentum loss as we do take time this time to, to recover ourselves. And then it says, otherwise give or take three health. Excellent, we're back to five health as Kataka uh, applies poultices to the burn locations and then wraps them around with some kind of material. I'm going to say uh, a molted, molted skin of some bugs. That is what they use to, to wrap injury. It's treated molted skin that she gets out of a backpack and then she just wraps it around. And then once again, she picks up her mother and continues the journey. So we are going to undertake an exploration with wits once more. Here we go. Nice, a weak hit, all right. So on a weak hit, we mark progress and we face peril at a waypoint. Envision what you encounter. At this point, I'm gonna say we're already in the green path and I had an idea for a green path, yes. Uh, so let's change the music. And... Let's put some... And as we're passing on from the Forgotten Lands and getting... For forgotten Lands, Forgotten Crossroads, and getting into the the green path, the shrubbery, and everything. I, I, I'm terrible at describing locations, but... I guess in my head it's like I've already played the game, but there are people that haven't played the game. So, while... let's go back. So the Forgotten, Ro the forgotten Crossroads is very rocky, very stone and spires everywhere, dark and, and cold, but... The, the green path is much more vegetation and shrubs and plants and, and all that kind of stuff. And I just said like plants three times there. Uh, <laughs> so as we're passing through here, we come across a, a knight, a, a tall, tall knight with a shield and a lance. And he stops us and says, who, who goes there? with a big lance, and we kind of, like, slowly lower our mother down. It's this big, tall knight. A mix of a beard. A beard mixed with shrubbery and uh, bug hair, I guess. Kataka slowly raises her hand, saying, My name is Kataka. I am a snail shaman. I am taking my mother to to rest at a, at a sacred location. And the knight goes, I'm afraid, Kataka, that you cannot pass. The queen is visiting, and I am guarding this place. None shall pass while the queen is here. And Kataka goes, the, the, the queen is, is, is here? Yes! The queen herself is here, and she has asked me to stay here and make sure that nobody passes. Go back, Kataka, and find another way. And Kataka kind of like looks around and the and she 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 looks at him and says, "How?" How long have you been guarding this place for the queen? And and the knight says, Months, perhaps, perhaps more. It is my sacred duty to 
uphold my command. And Kataka looks at the knight and she says, Have, have you considered the queen might not be here anymore? Or have you considered checking up on the queen? And this is going to be a compel. Uh, so let's go ahead and roll heart. That's a seven. That is a weak hit. On a weak hit as above, they'll do what you want or agree to your conditions, but their agreements come with a demand or complication. Envision their counter offer. Okay, so <laughs> what I imagine the knight says, uh, Hmm. I hadn't thought of that. But I cannot leave my post. I am beholden to my command. You, however, could check up on the queen. Will you do this for me? Will you travel and see if the queen is fine? And Kataka says, I was headed to the queen's gardens anyway, so I, I could check up on her. Most excellent, most honorable of your part, then you may pass. And he kind of like raises the lance and lets us go on our way. And Taka picks up the stretcher with her mother and says, good, good day, sir knight. And the knight says, Good day to you, my lady. Obviously, Kataka thinks the knight has half been infected, or perhaps simply been alone for too long. It's hard to say. But she continues her journey and once again undertakes an expedition. And that is a strong hit. Hey, our first strong hit. All right. Bam. Uh, see, I have, I have been forgetting to envision the location and mark progress. <laughs> I haven't been envisioning the locations. I've just been doing this stuff. Okay, so... Let's see, we are now, I imagine, in the Fog Canyon. So let's put some Fog Canyon-y music. Uh, I like this one. Or, wait, 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 no, one of these. Fade Dreams. Hmm. Ah, this one. Oh. This, this sounds like the music from the Fall Canyon. <laughs> so it's perfect. I might be wrong, though. It's been a while. Um, so this is a very bubbly place. Floating jellyfish everywhere. Electrical um, little fireflies. Uh, very slimy and wet and humid. As we're kind of like slipping with the stretcher and kind of like, uh, uh, picking up and 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 going about our way so let's continue uh, undertaking an expedition not much more to do here whoa that was a a weak hit so on a weak hit we mark progress and then we face a peril at the waypoint. Envision what you encounter. So I'm going to say that the peril, the peril we we see. Ah, uh, <laughs> I like the 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 the, the electrical. Um, fireflies and there's also some kind of like explosive mucus related to the jellyfish and we have to very carefully 
pass through this section that's full. It's like it's like a very hazardous section of like electricity up there. There's the jellyfish that if we touch them, they explode. There's the mucus that the jellyfish leave around that is also explosive. And we have to be very careful. And this is going to be an edge move to overcome this danger. This is going to be a face danger with edge as we go through this. And, uh, wait, can there, is there anything we can do about this? Um, we have the naturalist. So I'm thinking we're going to try to secure an advantage related to the electrical fireflies. If there's something of food I can throw at them or anything like that. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's add a plus one to that. So we try to secure an advantage and that is not good at all. On a miss, you fail or your assumptions betray you. Pay the price. Okay, let's pay the price. Let's see what it is. Ninety. You are delayed or put at a disadvantage. Okay, I like that. Let's go ahead and lose uh, one momentum as we... Let's go ahead and lose two. Why not? As we're, we, we're lowering down... We're looking at the fireflies, we're taking out our little notepad, we're looking through our notes and we're trying to, trying to remember what was it, what was it, what was it, and we're just... end up completely frustrated after spending far too long trying to remember something about this or looking through our notes, and at which point we just say, ah, screw it, we just pick up and we just go through. And it's gonna be an edge roll, nothing else. Very carefully maneuvering around all of these hazards. And that is a miss. That is a miss. But I'm going to burn momentum to turn it into a weak hit. So, on a weak hit, when we face danger, uh, we succeed, but not without a cost. Make a suffer move, minus one. And I'm going to say that... It is definitely stressful, as Kataka is very carefully at one point caught between a jellyfish that's just floating in front of her, the electricity like right over there, and the, the, she can see the explosive mucus just in one corner, and she's like... But she manages to get through all of it, and we've got eight progress, but... Let's get to 10, why not? Or let's at least do one more undertake journey through the Queen's Gardens this time. Let's go and see what happens. And that is a weak hit. Excellent. So on a weak hit, first let's change the music because I love changing music because there's so much good music here. Um, there we go. So we are now in the Queen's Gardens. It's very similar to the green path as before, but there are these large vines with spikes coming out of them that are everywhere. It's very dangerous. And that is in fact the, the peril we face now as we mark progress. And we have to make our way up and across these very dangerous uh, thorny plants everywhere. And I'm going to say this is a very simple face danger with Iron as she lugs her mother up trying to get past these thorny vines and avoiding any any danger. So Okay, a weak hit. Excellent. Uh, I'm gonna say she suffers one harm as at one point she don't the, the, She gets cut by one of the thorns across her leg without noticing it. She's like ah, Lugging the mother and suddenly she, ah, and she, she, she drops it and she picks it up again She keeps going and she finally gets through all the thorny vines with a few cuts here and there And now we are going to see if we made it if we made it to the overgrown mound and we did! That's a strong hit! And it says here on exploration, finish an expedition 
On a strong hit, you reach your destination or complete your survey. Uh, Mark a reward on your discovery track. Okay. Two ticks. Excellent. And this marks progress on our quest as we have arrived at the overgrown mound. Now we can delete this one and delete this one. Uh, we get there and we bah, put down the the uh, the stretcher with our mother on it. <sighs> Attack us breathing. And she kind of accommodates her mother into a corner in, in the overground mound, lies her down, and sits next to her, keeping, keeping her company again as before. And then at one point, her mother wakes up again and says, Kataka. Kataka. Mother, you're you're awake again. We we're here, mother. We we we've come to the overgrown mound. And she says, "Thank you, Kataka. You have you have done as I Oh, wait, why is the music so low? There we go. You have done exactly as I asked, but before you leave, there's one more thing I need of you. Yes, mother, anything. What is it? You must kill me, child. Kataka's eyes go wide. She says, what? The infection. It will not kill me. It will make me rise and leave this place. And I must be here when the time comes. Just... No! No, you... You can't make me do this! Oh, why... Only you would ask this of me! Nothing but ah! and, and the mother says, Kataka, I am sorry that you were born into this hard life, but we all have a play a, a part to play. Please grab your staff and strike me, child. Kataka steps back, she says. No! It's... Child, please, you must just... No! I will not have... The last memory of you being... Struck down by my staff! There... I will find another way. And, and, and she she walks out of the overgrown mound and sits down on a little ledge and bursts in tears, crying, crying for everything that was and everything that will be. She decides She will make a poison that will take her mother calmly, peacefully, in her sleep. She gets up, walks into the overgrown mound, takes one final look at her mother, who was once again mumbling and moving, her eyes orange as before. She walks out into the Queen's Gardens to find the plants she needs. So this is gonna be a gather information. 
and we have the naturalist talent. Your knowledge of life forms or ecosystems. So let's go ahead and change the music. And let's put some this way. We're going to roll the wits roll. Plus one. So we gather information. Oh, nice. That's a strong hit. And so you discover something helpful and specific. The path you must follow or action you must take is made clear. Envision what you learned and take plus two momentum. So I'm going to say that she searches through the place and finds the exact plants she needs. And she does that. She she goes and collects them or, or maybe let's make it a little bit more complicated. Let's say that the path you must follow or action you must take is made clear. Envision what you learn and take. Okay, so she finds a nearby plant, a plant that indicates the presence of the other one. And she begins to collect these ingredients, makes her way through, and I'm going to say that the last ingredient she comes across, but she sees in her path a traitor mantis. These are bugs that fill the queen's gardens, very dangerous insects. And let's put some suspense music as yes this one's perfect as she she sees this mantis kind of like walking around and she needs to get to that uh, that plant so once again we're going to secure an advantage using our knowledge of life forms or ecosystems to try to get an edge on this creature to try to get some kind of advantage over it so, let's go ahead and roll. Plus one. Oof. That is a miss. You are investig- So, let's go. Secure an advantage. You miss, or your assumptions betray you. Pay the price. Let's see what happens. 88. You are stressed. Okay. So, I'm gonna think that what happens is the following. Oh, yes, I like this. Taka is once again looking through her notes, trying to remember when she sees a small bug, another creature. The, the, the mantis is sentient, but this one isn't. It's a small bug walking on the floor. And the mantis very carefully just looks at it walk. And then without warning, just bang, strikes it with one of its claws and ching, one of its scythe like just spears the bug through and picks it up. And then shoo, tosses it aside. And Kataka sees this and is just very much stressed as she's just staring at that happen. Oh, by the way, um, endure harm and endure stress. It's uh, it's now optional to roll on it if you want. I like that in Starforge that you don't have to roll on it unless you you want to, or if it's at zero. So makes things smoother and run faster so she breathes and says okay no no other way around this uh, she's too nervous to try to think of anything else and we'll try to sneak past or around this creature and let's see how that goes oh strong hit with a match baby uh, all right. I love that. Excellent. So we take plus one momentum and a strong hit with a match. Leave solution. Leave solution. Okay. I'm going to say that as we're sneaking around it, we, the mantis just flies off somewhere else to do something else. We, we, we're, we got a very lucky break. We collected the things we needed to collect and we're able to make our way back and attempt to craft this so-called poison that we need to make. So let's go ahead and do that. 
let's go ahead and roll wits. Um, bam. Another strong hit with a match. Nice. Okay, so we take plus two momentum. A plus one on our next move if we needed to make it. But I don't think we do need to make it. I'm going to say that the, the, the poison is is very much uh, success and and Kataka finishes preparing this little bowl with this uh, concoction she goes up to her mother's side says mother can you hear me Here. Drink this, mother. It will... It will do what must be done. Thank you. Thank you, child. And with Kantaka's help, she, she, she drinks the poison, and the mother says, You must... You must leave, girl. Leave this place. Make your own life out there. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't be better. Jesus. You. You were harsh, but... You've always cared for me. I'm going to stay here with you, by your side, until this is over. And then I promise you I will leave. And she looks up and her mother is already infected again. And tears go down her eyes as she lays across her mother's chest, sobbing. Now, <laughs> we must see if Ironsworn agrees with our story or not. Let's see what happens. We need an eight or less. And that's a ten. <laughs> that is a ten. So, let's see what happens. Uh, da -da 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 oh, where are the quest ones? Quest. Fulfill your vow. On a weak hit, as above, your vow is fulfilled, but there is more to be done or you realize the truth of your quest. Okay. So, uh, mark one tick on your quest track. Excellent. So, I imagine the situation as the following. And... Let's put um, Let's leave this music, I like it. And she's crying and crying, and then at one point she falls asleep. And when she wakes up, she looks, and her mother is dead. Their uh, eyes are completely gone. Kataka cleans the tears. And then, when she stands up, her mother's arm falls to the side, letting go of a small shell to the floor. She picks up, Kataka picks up this shell, and in it, she sees a small bug with two little horns coming out and she realizes she feels that there is indeed more to be done and she puts on her backpack and 
looks at her mother, gives her one final kiss, before heading out in search of this bug. And that's our session! Uh, a little longer than usual, these sessions will probably go uh, a little longer than usual, uh, as they have to. Maybe one hour, an hour and a half since they're, they're one-shots. That was really nice. I hope, um, I hope you all enjoyed it as much as I did. So, let's go to the end of the episode list. Uh, first, a big huge thanks to Sean Tomking, as always, for making these amazing games. A uh, big shout out and thank you to Mihael for drawing the logo for Iron Home. A big thank you to Teen Cherry for making this amazing game that I play every year at least once. I love it so much. I'm super excited for the next one that's coming out. Big thanks for uh, hopefully letting me use the, the map and not <laughs> telling me to take down this video, please. Uh, a big thanks to Ben Straub for all the, the Iron Sworn module map, uh, the Iron Sworn Foundry module that you see here. All of this is amazing. Uh, thanks to uh, Arsec, or yeah, I'm gonna say Arsec for the uh, Iron Sworn, the Data Sworn that has all the information that allows things like this to be possible. And a huge thanks to Ian Fisher for this music. I have so much fun sorting it out into categories and play I, it's I couldn't play without Ian's music it would just be a completely different uh, experience uh, and that's about it you can find uh, you can find us in Twitter and in discord we have a tiny little community where we never ever chat about anything except maybe once <laughs> but if you're if you're if you feel like talking about the episodes or anything you can join us there the links are down below for both Twitter and the discord and if you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe. And that is our show. And I forgot the biggest thank you of all to, to you for watching. Thank you. Uh, it really it really makes my day when, when people leave comments saying I enjoyed this or this is awesome or or just seeing that people are watching it. It's 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 awesome. It, it's it's great. I have lots of fun making these and I hope people have fun watching them. So I will see you all next week, hopefully. Uh, thank you for joining me, and goodbye.